Does watching this get your heart pumping in the best possible way? If you're a thrill seeker, an adventure lover, or someone that just thrives under extreme stress, then we've got five jobs that would be perfect for you. My first jump, like I said, I was terrified, okay? And I still, after 11,000 jumps, there's still fear, okay? But there's fear and fear management, and you have to weigh the rewards, okay? I can either be too afraid to do this and never have this amazing experience of falling 120 miles an hour and feeling that parachute open and look at the, look at the world from 5,000 feet above in a harness because I let my fear hold me down. But it's manageable fear. But look what I get for, for giving it a try. What's the physical sensation like? You feel like gravity no longer applies. Like I can do anything. Until you get to about 3,000 feet, then you realize, okay, now I can. I can open the parachute. Yeah. But until then, it's complete freedom. So you get to feed off of that still first time excitement when you jump with somebody. Every time, That's every awesome. time. I get to feel their fear all the way up. But you get to feel their fear just like I had, and I'm like, ah, I remember that. It takes me back 16 years. It's amazing to, to relive the fear and the excitement and the joy, all that, every time. You know, I mean, look at the reward I get, okay? Because I still get afraid. I'm still afraid at times. I'm not like a first jumper by any means. It's pretty commonplace, but there's still fear. Courage is not being fearless. It's acting in the face of fear, yeah. right? And, and that's what I think true courage is. You act in the face of it, do it anyway, because the reward is so great. And if you let fear just keep you squashed, you're not living. I am the mission lead of the Marsh Curiosity rover. My job is to um, troubleshoot anything that happens to the rover. So anything that goes wrong with the rover, it's my problem, it's my team that needs to figure it out. On a normal day, we want the rover to do some activities. It is also my team that is putting it together the activities. In the morning, the rover wakes up and it says, talk to me. Because the rover is sitting on Mars, it takes approximately 14 minutes or so of the signal to make it to the rover and 14 minutes to come back which means that by the time you have sent something, 28 minutes have happened, and 28 minutes later you know you're in trouble. And now you have to react to it very quickly. So I like, I love the rush. I'm a nurse at Bentov Emergency Center here in Houston, Texas. I've um, been doing this for nearly five years now. Um, definitely a lot of car accidents. Um, some traumas that you see a lot at night are gunshot wounds, stab wounds. Um, during the day, you see a lot because you know people are in construction, so they're up high in places. So you see a lot of falls. So during Harvey, I, you know, we a lot of us spent many days in a row here. Um, we we slept in the same beds that patients would sleep in <laughs> on a normal basis on, on nor during normal operations. Interesting enough, I mean, you sometimes work a shift and then you go home and you hear about it on the news. You know, it's like, oh, it's, you know, you can't say it <laughs> yeah. because of patient privacy, yeah. but you know, you think to yourself, that's pretty cool. I was in that room with that patient and um, I was a part of their care. So um, it's definitely a very, I mean, a very exciting environment to be around. I'm Major Cynthia McKenna. Um, I fly the C-130J airplane for the Air Force. Um, I'm also a weapons officer for that as well. While I was deployed, I did lots of different things. I did airdrop, so uh, we actually kick things out of the back of the plane while we're flying, uh, drop them to the guys on the ground, which I loved, I thought that was great. We also did aeromedical evacuation, which um, basically we land and we pick up uh, crews of doctors and crews of uh, flight nurses and whatnot, and they'll bring injured guys onto our plane, hook up, uh, and then we'll fly them to a place that has a bigger hospital. So we'll go out to the smaller bases and take them to the big bases with the big hospitals. We go into some of the shortest airfields available, um, and we're able to get people out and take people in where other aircraft can't. I did my first company, that is a drone delivery company called Matternet. What we were trying to solve were lack of infrastructure problems. This is a problem that one billion people in the world have. They're disconnected. So I learned that I didn't have to ask for permission to create the change that I wanted to see in the world. Wish, great breakthrough, but it comes with a responsibility that the future that I want to see in the world is up to me if I create it. That's what pioneers do. You create something for the first time. You create a path. Nobody has done it before. It requires guts, and it's important to remember why we're doing the things we're doing. 